Hey guys, a warm welcome to my tutorial on a dynamic slideshow in PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you what we're about to do. We have a slide and then these four pictures which slide in and then dynamically crawl together with the content. And if you press next, it will move on to the left and to the left. And if you press one more time, to the left. Of course, you can adjust it to where, whenever, uh, to whichever you want, but I will talk about that later. So let's go right into the blank presentation. We can delete all that stuff. And what I did is I have a project folder with um, a background picture I like. Then we have four beautiful pictures, all from pexels.com. If you need any royalty free pictures, you can go there. And we're about to use these, but of course you're free to use any other pictures you like. So we're gonna drag that in and just slightly adjust the size and crop the edges to fit completely in the presentation. Yeah, that's right. And then we're ready to drag our pictures which we have in the project folder in. So if we start with pick one, which is a beautiful landscape. Um, put it to the left and then crop it to about one fourth of the slide and move the content which we want to have centered. Onto the next picture, we're about to do the same. Just adjust it to be right um, in the center and then crop it so that it begins right to the next picture, to the last picture. And again, one fourth of the slide, so about the half of the whole slide. And we do that for the next picture as well. So drag it in, position it. and then crop it to one fourth of the slide size. That's right. And we also center it a bit within that. Yeah, and then crop it. And one more time. So we go back to the folder, pick four. Do the same here center it, crop it, so that the car will be in the center, that's right, and crop it, perfect. Now that we have done that, um, let's go to the next step. Um, we can now uh, change the color of the pictures to uh, emphasize the picture which should be in the middle. So let's go to uh, format picture and then picture color and set the saturation to zero. And we're gonna do that for every picture. Saturation to zero. And to increase the contrast a little, we can also increase the brightness for um, every second picture so that it's easier to distinguish them. So the brightness, about 20%, I guess. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, same for this picture. Cool. Next step, we have to arrange the hierarchy levels of the pictures. So um, we click on arrange and reorder objects. And what you see now is a visualized hierarchy of the um, layers. So we put the left one to the very top, the second one to the next level, then the third one to the next, and the fourth picture to the very last. So you see from left to right, it goes from top to down in the hierarchy. 
and this is because we want to use uh, some nice drop shadow which make it uh, which makes it a bit more three-dimensional so we select all of them go on to format picture and shadow click on a drop shadow to the right and what you see generated a drop shadow but we still have to adjust some features of it so the distance at the bottom should go up you should you can play around a little bit with this maybe 25 let's see i think even more 53 yeah around 50 should be fine and then we also adjust the blur to 20 maybe yeah, i think even more Let's see, 50, yeah, that looks about right. And then we're done, nearly done with the first slide. Do another thing to compress the picture size. It's just because we will duplicate a lot and we don't want our computer to crash. So picture quality to HD. Don't check delete cropped areas of picture and then all pictures in this file and okay. All right, so now we can just duplicate the slide that we have. Um, we can press on the slide on the left and then Control D or Command D. And we have two identical objects and this will come in hand later. So right now we can um, go back to the first slide, select everything and go on animation and click on the animation fly in. Now in the right side you have the animation pane with all the properties and we set all of them to smooth start and end which will look a bit more natural and then the timing should be around one second but of course you can play around then it looks like this and we want everyone every picture to come after another so we delay it a bit and we 0 0.35 the next one would be 0 0.7 and the third one 1.05 so let's check how that looks of course we should pre replay from the start yeah that looks cool this is what we want to have and we're done with the first step this is how it will look like in the presentation mode So pretty neat, this is what we want and we can go on. So let's go to the next slide, slide two. And what we're about to do is to crop the pictures to even smaller formats. So we press on crop about the half of the actual size, of the actual size right now. You can put the car in the center again and then crop. Next step, take the next picture, move it to the very border of the last picture. You see the dynamic lines, it's kind of magnetic. And then also half of the size, center it a bit and crop. Next one, move it to the very border, crop it about the half of the size person is in the center so that's great and crop it all right as we did that we can click on the last picture again ah no that's all right we, we want to have it cropped so person crop crop it until here and now it looks like this and to emphasize it a bit we can go back to format picture and uh, color um, properties and set the saturation back to 100% looks like this now we can also 
Increase the brightness a bit, maybe 15%. Yeah, that looks good. And now we have that. So this is the first step of the dynamic slideshow, which we'll repeat and you can have a look on how it looks in the presentation mode. So we have that. And then if you press to the right, you have this. So there's no transition like we wanted to have, no dynamic transition just the next slide so how are we going to do that just press on the second slide then transition transitions and click on morph which is a really powerful feature of uh, newer powerpoint versions and it will automatically calculate the movements of duplicated objects so this is it and then if we press right we have this nice dynamic slide. Looks cool, right? So let's get back to work. We have three more pictures um, to move, but first, of course, we can like insert maybe some text box. I'm going to fast forward with that. Perfect, so now that we have our text box, we can continue and what we're about to do is again to duplicate our last slide, so control D or CTRL uh, command D, sorry. This will give us an identical slide, so we're gonna delete that for the moment because we don't need it. And again, now we can move the last picture to the very left and set the saturation back to zero because now we want to go on to the next picture. So we click on the next picture, press on crop and then just move it to the border of the last image and then center it again looks like this perfect crop it and of course we want to boost up the saturation again so we click on it go to the color settings and put the saturation to 100 not 10 but 100 percent this is what we're going to see the brightness is a bit too much so maybe 10 Yes, that looks right. And uh, now we have the second picture in the slideshow. Again, we duplicate the last slide. We can delete the very left picture because it will not be shown anymore. And move the last picture which, which was shown to the left. Uh, we can put it right next to the border and then click on the third picture picture format crop and set the border of the crop picture to the last picture on the left center it again we can increase the size so that it fits that looks about right Let's position it a bit and then crop and of course, we're gonna set the temperature, uh, the saturation up to 100% again, maybe increase the brightness to 10%. And the last picture will get turned down from the saturation to 0% again. Now we can duplicate it another last time and we're gonna delete the very last picture again and move this one to the very left click on the last picture uh, click on the picture at the very right again 
crop it to the very corner increase the size so that it fits a bit more and again we turn the saturation down for the last picture to 0% and for the current one we turn it to 100% that looks nice so now we can uh, get the text box that we have back to um, the other slides so that you can fill it with content we just copy it so Control D or Command D and insert it onto the next slide so Control V or Command V just um, reposition it to the to the corner same for this one just drag it right and then the last one and of course you can um, change the text inside to whatever you want and if we will have a look at the finished product this is the presentation mode so we have the background we have all the four pictures sliding in you can talk a bit and then if you press to the right to the next slide this will show up and then if you go further it slides to the left and then for the third picture it again slides to the left and the white box moves to the right and then for the last one also slides to the left and the white box fills the whole slide so this is it um, I hope you liked the finished product I will um, upload the project folder um, so that you can download it and work with it maybe use it as some inspiration and have fun with it so see you at the next tutorial thank you for your attention